blood supply of femoral head. The femoral head receives its blood supply from four arteries. The first is profunda femoris artery, which is the major supply to the femoral head. It is also known as the deep femoral artery. It gives off the medial circumflex femoral artery and the lateral circumflex femoral artery, which form the extracapsular arterial ring. The profunda femoris artery is a branch of the femoral artery which is a branch of the external iliac arteries. The other arteries have minor contributions to the femoral head blood supply. The next most important is the artery to ligamentum teres, which is usually a branch of the obturator artery, which is a branch of the internal iliac artery. The superior gluteal artery also contributes a little bit to the supply of the femoral head through the trochanteric anastomosis and the inferior gluteal artery has minor contribution to the supply of femoral head through the cruciate anastomosis. Both the superior and the inferior gluteal arteries are branches of the internal iliac artery. The profunda femoris artery gives off the lateral circumflex femoral artery which travels along the anterior surface of the base of the femoral neck and the medial circumflex artery which travels along the posterior surface of the base of femoral neck and they form the extracapsular arterial ring. This also has minor contributions from the superior and inferior gluteal artery. The extracapsular arterial ring gives rise to the ascending cervical arteries. When the ascending cervical artery penetrate the capsule of the hip joint, they are known as retinacular artery and they have three groups anterior, postero superior and postero inferior. The anterior group derives its supply mainly from the lateral circumflex femoral artery and the posterior superior and posterior inferior derive its supply mainly from the medial circumflex femoral artery. These at the level of the base of the head or the head neck junction form the subsinovial intraarticular ring which gives off the epiphyseal arteries that supply the head. Of note is the lateral epiphyseal artery which enters the femoral head at the postero superior part of the femoral head which supplies the majority of the weight bearing area of the femoral head. So the lateral epiphyseal artery supplies majority of the weight bearing area of the femoral head and it derives its supply mainly from the medial circumflex femoral artery. So any injury to this may lead to chances of avian of the weight bearing part of the femoral head. Since the major supply to the weight bearing part of the femoral head is from the branch of medial circumflex femoral artery which is on the posterior surface of the neck of femur. That's why you should be very careful while dissecting or placing retractor on the posterior surface of the femoral neck. The other supply is by the artery of ligamentum teres which enters to the lound ligament but this supplies only a minor part of the femoral head. Thus the major supply comes from the profunda femoris artery through this ring. Now if there is a fracture of the neck of femur, this major supply is interrupted. That is why in fracture of neck of femur, the chances of the avian of the or the avascular necrosis of the femoral head is more. Blood supply of the femoral head by age. Less than 4 years, the blood supply is by the lateral epiphyseal artery and the metaphyseal arteries. The lateral epiphyseal artery derive their supply mainly from the medial circumflex femoral artery whereas the metaphyseal arteries derive their supply from the extracapsular synovial ring. Between 4 to 8 years, the epiphyseal plate becomes a firm barrier to metaphyseal vessels. Thus the only supply is the lateral epiphyseal arteries. Thus in this age group, any insult to the lateral epiphyseal arteries can lead to Perthes disease and this is the most common age for Perthes disease. After 8 years till adolescence, the artery of ligamentum teres gives increased contribution to the blood supply of the femoral head, somewhat restoring the dual blood supply to the femoral head. At adolescence, that is 13 to 17 years, there is closure of the epiphyseal plate and the adult pattern of blood supply develops. So this was a discussion of the blood supply of the femoral head which is a very important topic for postgraduates. If you like these videos please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for further videos.
also comment in the comment section regarding the topics you will like to be covered in the future videos thank you